Fellow Nigerians, I am Frederick Omoyo Maldurige. I am the president of the Nigerian Association in Hungary, and I am also the global coordinator of the European Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria. But today I am not speaking on behalf of the Nigerian Association. Rather, I am speaking for the European Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria. I am here to share good news with you today with all Nigerians living home and abroad. I have a good news for you. Something completely new and different is about to happen in Nigeria and it will happen on the first day of November 2018. In the last few weeks, we have witnessed the tragic and dramatic political developments in our country, Nigeria. We have seen vote buying in various state elections. We have seen how the same politicians that devalued our Naira desperately paid in dollars just for their party delegates to vote for them. The helpless Naira became too bulky to use in their elections. We have seen politicians who lost primary elections as they violently threatened the families of delegates to refund what they received. Nothing goes for nothing. Some delegates have refunded for fear of their lives. You must not forget that the desperate politicians are only political investors out to milk the country. We have seen political mem uh, party members, we have seen party members who call themselves a political family, fighting, breaking bottles, destroying plastic tables and burning vehicles desperate to win uh, party elections. Worst of all, they went further to kill innocent Nigerians because their greed for power must require the blood of our people. Our people die at the, Medi at the Mediterranean Sea, some are sold as slaves in Libya, and others are killed at home. All these situations are caused by the same evil system called government. We have seen how the federal government of Nigeria is set to spend around 240 billion naira for an election just for us to pick persons that will simply represent us. The same persons that will loot our treasury. Our government now invests blindly on looters to go into office. But on the 1st of November, there will be a day to remember. Yes, fellow Nigerians, recently we have seen Nigerian senators who granted themselves an holiday of 75 days. By the calculation of Professor Issa Sage, each of the senators have received 75 million naira for doing nothing. If you multiply that amount by the 109 senators, it will amount to 8 billion 175 million naira. That amount is more than the 300 million US dollars that Buhari's government recently borrowed from the World Bank to fight malaria in Nigeria. People have in their pockets what Nigeria borrows. The salaries received for the 75 days when the senators were busy pursuing their selfish primary elections could build six standard hospitals in Nigeria. But we have heard governors who told workers, no work, no pay. You must understand that we keep talking about Nigerian senators because we are very displeased with them. Because they are supposed to act as a national check and balance. They are the lawmakers. Unfortunately, they have become the real lawbreakers. Within those 75 days of holiday, 17 letters were sent by the president of Nigeria to them concerning matters that are very important to our country. They were left unattended to. Why? Because the politicians needed to go for their personal businesses. You know, it is people like me and you that believes that we have a country called Nigeria. But for the poli politicians, we don't have a country. We have a bank. To them, it's a national cake. We saw how they fought like wounded lions during the primary elections because they were fighting for their pockets. If you are sincere, what do you need to kill one of us for? Because you want to work for all of us. Why? Some collected forms for the position of the president and senators at the same time. So that based on profit and loss, if one fails, 
then they will have something to fall back on. That is what I call tubu tubu politics. Why? Politics is their only business. Remember that when the senators leave office in 2019, they will leave with the furnitures and the vehicles bought for their work. Thereafter, another budget will be passed by them to buy new furnitures and cars for another set of senators. Some senators that have been there for three or four tenures have received furniture and vehicle allowances three or four times. So why are you surprised that suddenly our country has become the poverty capital of the world? Why are you surprised? Mismanagement. And the simple reason is because Nigerians have been too silent for a long time. Little wonder fella Nicolapo sang suffering and smiling. Nigerians have been suffering and smiling. As I am talking now, some youths, some Nigerians that have been complaining are already working, working for the same people that stole from them. Are they already working for them to return to power in 2019? Who cost my people? This is disgusting. Very disgusting. Can, 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 can you imagine where even we are turning our country into a mess? Despite the fact that some people have turned it into a mess, the problem is not just the leadership. It's also about the followership. Immediately after the, after the primaries, after the primary elections, you could feel the vibrations on Facebook. Nigerians have literally set Facebook on fire after the primary elections. But we must begin to take our voices out of Facebook onto national reconstruction. The good news is that something will happen on the first day of November 2018. In the past weeks, we have seen selfish politicians crisscrossing from one political party to another because most Nigerian politicians, they have no political ideology. It is what will benefit them, that is what they are interested in. In the past few, few weeks, we have seen Muhammadu Buhari and his political comedians distribute 45 million naira to some inconsequential persons who shamefully came out to ridiculously say that they bought nomination form for Mr. President. We also saw another set of shameless Nigerians who were stage managed to make us believe that they bought nomination form for Atiku Abubakar, suffering and smiling. That is why our politicians believe that all Nigerians are stupid. That is their belief. In the past few weeks, we have seen the national chairman of APC, Adams Oshomole, who stopped Anani's godfatherism in Edo State, cooperating with the antics of Ahmed Tunubu's political godfatherism in Lagos State and beyond. Politicians who do not fear God. They speak with one mouth and they act in another way. In the past few weeks, we have seen politicians who consulted with the same past Nigerian presidents who put our country where we are today. What, was, what is their negotiation about? They are negotiating on how to further mortgage our country. Fortunately, we have also seen other presidential aspirants who consulted with Nigerians through town hall meetings. Fellow Nigerians, we must know that the wolves and the vultures of Nigerian politics are here again. The season has come again. They have positioned themselves again so that they will continue to impoverish us as a people. The masterminders of our wasted years are fully awake. We, the people, can only say yes or no. We can only say yes or no. They have surely gathered, but for the sake of Nigeria, they must scatter. They have surely gathered, but for the sake of Nigeria, they must scatter. We, the people, must say a loud no and be free and great forever, or we stay quiet and remain slaves in our country. God forbid. God forbid. Political parties in Nigeria have picked their presidential candidates in their horrible and terrible ways. But on the first day of November, we shall pick we shall vote and pick the presidential candidate that we shall support in the 2019 general elections. Nigerians in diaspora, despite the fact that diasporans have been contributing very much to the economy of Nigeria, it is unfortunate that the Nigerian government for many years 
have not made it possible for you and I to vote in the past and in the 2019 general elections. However, we are presenting you this golden opportunity for you to vote for your preferred Nigerian presidential candidate in the election of 2019. We also know that some Nigerians will be traveling home for the elections. Yes, we shall be there. For those that cannot travel, please, you have a role to play. You have to call every member of your family. You have to call all your friends living in Nigeria that they should vote for the person that we are going to choose on the 1st of November. Nigerians abroad, we have seen what development should look like. And it is our duty to advise our people back home accordingly. We must lead our nation to glory. The time has come. Just look at our country today. No single state in Nigeria is as developed as the poorest state in Europe or other developed countries. Not even Abuja. No state is efficiently and effectively working in Nigeria. No, no. Therefore, on the first day of November 2018, through this YouTube channel, we shall list the names of all presidential aspirants that won the primary elections of their respective political parties. From amongst them, we shall vote for one candidate, one candidate from amongst all of them. That is the person we shall give our full support towards the 2019 elections. We have no confidence in the many Wururu primary elections that took place recently. This, our election, is open to all Nigerians from all over the world. Everybody has a chance to participate. It is a unique election. No thuggery, no ballot box snatching, no killing or burning of properties, as desperate politicians do at home, and of course, no rigging. So what do you have to do? Simple. Step one, just click on the subscribe button, which is under the video you are watching now. That registers you for our election of November 1st. Step 2. Election will commence on this channel on the 1st of November 2018. Exactly by 5 p.m. Nigerian time. 6 p.m. in European countries. 5 p.m. in the United Kingdom. 12 noon in Washington, USA. 12 noon at Ottawa, Canada. 2 p.m. In Canberra, Australia, and so on. So the election will, will last for exactly 90 minutes, just like a football match. That is one and a half hours. But in this type of football match, called this our election, there will be no extra time, no African man time. We start by 5 p.m. European time and we end as, when it's exactly 90 minutes. We shall have our TDO. There's what we call TDO. T I D E O. TDO will be the ones to conduct our elections live on this channel and they will announce the result. What is TDO? TDO stands for Truly Independent Diaspora Electoral Officers. Even 100 Buharis cannot influence them. After the declaration of, of the result, we will make a speech. From that day, our campaign will begin fully. Thereafter, our video broadcast will no longer be once in a month. It will not be a minimum of three times in a month and shorter. Some will be translated into various Nigerian languages for grassroots mobilization. Some of our videos will also be played on local Nigerian television stations, radio, and relayed by town criers in all our villages. We are tired of hearing our people back home when they tell us that they do not have data to watch some of our YouTube videos. This is the development we're talking about. Yeah, it is the internet that is looking for you. Not you looking for the internet. And these are the transformation we're looking for in Nigeria. We strongly advise that as you vote on the 1st of November, please put Nigeria first. Do not vote for political parties. Do not vote for tribe, religion, or region. Vote for the person. Vote for capacity and for capability. Vote for vision and ruggedity. Vote for a president that can step on toes. A, a president that will put Nigeria first. We have complained long enough as a people. So from the 1st of November, 
we shall begin to reclaim the Federal Republic of Nigeria from the hands of political vampires and the forces of darkness that continue to disgrace our country and amass wealth for themselves and their families. Please remember that this is a revolution without ammunition. Revolution is the only solution in Nigeria now. In this revolution, we must be non-violent. Nobody must be killed. Our politicians have killed us long enough. No houses must be burnt. We must not destroy what we already have. No tires must be burnt on our street. We have suffered and endured long enough as a people. Invite your friends and families to participate in this simple but powerful election. In and out of season, we have been expecting harvest in Nigeria. But in every season of governance, we have been complaining and experiencing drought. We have been hoping against hopelessness. And it is time for us as a people to form a united front by seizing the moment and taking our destiny in our hands. I warn you, after our elections now, that is the election of November 1, some paid hands will come up with their noise that they are not with us. They will even copy our idea and do what we are doing now. Just watch out. Some people will come and even condemn our election. But believe in what we believe in, that we are fully dedicated to put Nigeria first. We shall make sure that the international community sanctions Nigeria in many and every way. If anybody, anybody, dead or alive, prevent Nigerians from voting as they did in the Ocean State election, or if they tamper with our results in any way, we shall do everything to make sure that Nigeria is sanctioned. We cannot continue like that. For those politicians planning to use underage voters and foreigners, especially from the northern part of Nigeria, bad news is waiting for you. Bad news is waiting for you. With our votes in 2019, we shall say no to insecurity, no to disenfranchisement, no to monumental corruption, no god salary for federal legislators, no to the murderous herdsmen, no to political godfatherism, no to Boko Haram and murderous herdsmen, no to unsteady electricity supply, no to inadequate healthcare facilities, no to politicians who travel abroad for healthcare, no to delay the payment of salaries and pensions, no to budget padding, no to the detention of Nigerians without trial, no to those that continue to undermine our voices as a people. No to recycled leaders, no to indiscriminate allocation of oil blocks, no to continue environmental degradation, no to abandoned projects, no to VIP treatment to some Nigerians in prison, no to life pension for ex-governors and ex-presidents, no to some religious leaders that have led us astray, no to state electoral commissions inaugurated and manipulated by government, especially their governors. We are set to say no and to no, and no to whatever has held us down as a people. We did not escort some Nigerians to Nigeria. Nigeria belongs to every Nigerian. No Nigerian owns Nigeria more than any Nigerian. Our country belongs to each and every one of us. The time has come for us to say enough is really enough. Saying nothing and doing nothing in the face of oppression is to die in nothingness. But we must live and act through our somebodiness. If we win, we win together. If we fail, we fail together. But there is no failure when we speak with one voice and form a united front. Nigeria is too blessed to be poor. I wish to close my speech by respectfully asking that you watching me now, that we should all bow our heads for a minute in respect of Nigerians that were killed recently during the last primary elections across Nigeria. May their souls rest in perfect peace. See you on the 1st of November 2018. Thank you and God bless. Bye. Here's a new song we want to spring on y'all tonight.
Take it home where you spread it around. If you don't like who's in there, vote them out. That's what Election Day is all about. And the biggest gun we got is called the ballot box. If you don't like who's in there, vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them out. And when they're gone, we'll sing and dance and shout. And she'll bring some new ones in, and they will start the show again. And if you don't like who's in there, vote them out. And if it's a bunch of clowns you voted in, election day is coming around again. And if you don't like it now, you can change it anyhow. And if you don't like who's in there, vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them out. And when they're gone, we'll sing and dance and shout. Start the show again and bring some new ones in. And if you don't like who's in there, vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them out. And when we're done, we'll sing and dance and shout. 